Nvidia claims GeForce RTX 4060 is 20% faster than RTX 3060 without the frame generation. Nvidia GeForce RTX 4060 pricing at European retailer goes from 349 to even 499. AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX flagship RDNA 3 GPU is now available for less than $882. Intel officially has discontinued their ARC A770 16GB limited edition GPU. And lastly, Microsoft hikes their Xbox Series X pricing after 2.5 years launch in select countries. This is Tech Track. So firstly, we have the GeForce RTX 4060 that will be launching on 29th of June and will be starting at 299. Well, as you can see, they just posted some performance benchmarks here well basically here they're comparing the 3060 2060 and 1060 well as you can see 3060 with frame generation on we're looking at around 1.7 times the performance which basically saying that 70 percent faster while dlss is on but let's not you know compare the dlss part here let's just focus on the without the frame generation and as you can see it's 1.2 times without the frame generation which means that it is 20 times faster than the rtx 3060 60 percent faster than the 2060 and well that goes off to show that it's eight times faster basically if you do the math it's gonna be something more than 100 or even 200 but either either way that doesn't really matter anymore because 1060 is very old but yeah 3060 and 2060 if you look closely 20 percent and 60 percent faster respectively without the frame generation we also got some games here where we have some games with the ai frame generation and without the dlss basically so if you look closely here with the frame generation the rtx 4060 is getting around like as you can see around 80 fps on warhammer 40k dark tide the witcher 3 wild hunt which is getting around 60 fps spider-man miles morales is also getting around 120 to 140 microsoft flight sim is also getting over 160 probably 170 fps so yeah these are some frame generated performance but let's look into them games without the frame generation which is Watch Dogs legion it's getting around 60 fps on average this is 1080p by the way so yeah not really that great but then again Watch Dogs legion is very much you know gpu intensive so we need to look into that metro exodus the rt is on in all games so it should be on in metro exodus but there we go it's getting close to 80 frames per second marvel's guardians of the galaxy is also getting over 100 far cry 6 also getting over 100 version evil is on par uh, close to 100 uh, and then last of us part one is getting over 80 assassin's creed valhalla is getting 100 so these are these are the games that i want to focus on because these are without the frame generation basically without the dlss so that we need to keep that in mind well then you might want to ask is this even real like is that even legit or are they cherry picking that well they might not be cherry picking because we have another leak from bench leaks here basically they have leaked this system which is intel core i5 3600 and the GeForce RTX 4060 running at a, a Vulkan API and we got the score on Geekbench which is 99,419 and if you do the math or compare with the RTX 3060 RTX 4060 is around 18% faster on this specific test here on Geekbench using the Vulkan API so if that is the case a Nvidia might not be cherry picking or might not be lying. Right, if that is the case, RTX 4060 could be a good replacement for the RTX 3060 because it's 20% around 20% faster, and then you also have DLSS 3.0 to use or you know to boost some frames. And looking at the graphs for the RTX 4060 in terms of you know the benchmarks like the nvidia provided here which again the rtx 4060 without the game generation looks not bad for the price of 340 or 300 i should say but there is also another problem because i would suggest buying rtx 4060 at 300 if this is actually true because there are some models that are over 300 dollars so what i was talking about 
was the pro shop this is a european retailer and they have listed the rtx 4060 let's go down and we'll find it right here asus geforce rtx 4060 dual 8 gigs we're looking at 329 european or basically euros if you look closely for the rtx 4060 asus which is the premium vari variant which is the rog strix variant which is going up to 499 in pricing that in my opinion is way too much you were paying for an rtx 4060 not worth it we also have the rtx 4060 wind force which is the msrp model i would say that's worth it 349 because if the performance graphs are true this is not a bad price and bad car to buy we also have the asus rtx it's the same thing 339 we also have 3d29 so i would go for the 320 and variant here you know because you know msrp matters right but i would completely avoid the geforce rtx 4060 ROG S Strix model because look at that. That is not worth the price. Similar for the G Gigabyte GeForce RTX 4060 Aero OC is coming at 389 a little bit premium but still i as i said avoiding premium is the best option we also have the geforce rtx 4060 gigabytes well that's another model with the three fans and uh, well, most of them are three fans well this one is also going for the three fans but doesn't really make any sense why they're going for the three fans this is really a very efficient gpu i don't know why they're going for three fans but anyway 379 still a lot premium in my opinion and yeah so basically if you want to go for the 4060 if you you're willing to buy it because you know if, if we consider just considering that the leaks are accurate and what nvidia is providing is not cherry picked then maybe rtx 4060 could be a good value card at 300 dollars even though like it's 8 gigs it can be valuable we'll see about that because it's 20% faster compared to the RTX 3060. I wonder how much uh, realistic that performance is, but we'll see. Next up, we have a deal here. XFX Speedstar Mark, well, whatever that name is, it's quite unnecessary naming, but doesn't matter. XF XFX RX 7900 XCX, the top of the line, right? We're getting a 5% discount here of 979, previously was 1029.99. But if you can also apply a coupon here, which also gives you a $98 save here. So you want to save a lot of money, right? Of course. So you should go for this deal because it's quite cheaper. It goes down to $882 which is great like why wouldn't anyone go for this it's amazing so yeah i suggest going for this if you want to spend this much for the 7900 xtx you're getting it at 882 not bad next up we have intel has just basically discontinued their arc a770 limited edition gpu from for basically their own their own card that they produce basically which you also called it for the founder's edition right that's that's the word i was looking for and well as you can see they uh, say that select intel arc a770 graphics card will be discontinued last product discontinu discontinuance order date is june 20 2023 and last part of this continuance shipment date is also june 20 2023 so there's the date for the june 20 basically it already passed and i'm you know reporting it late so yeah this card is gone from the shelves if there's any card remaining you can grab them but a770 limited edition will not be made anymore so it's kind of sad because the card looks beautiful honestly and lastly we have an article from verge basically saying that microsoft is hiking the price of xbox series x and xbox game pass not the game pass come on but anyway xbox series x is getting a price hike which is not a good scene to be honest with you because most of the cases xbox series xbox consoles don't really get sold compared to the ps5 so they're hiking the price isn't really helping their cause here well as you can see we have the price hike for the sony announced ps5 last year which did yeah they did increase it but now we're also looking at the xbox series x and as you can see in uk we're getting a pricing of 479 in european markets we'll be looking at 549.99 in Canadian dollar basically in Canada we're getting at 649.99 in Australia we're getting 799.99 Australian dollars and yeah that's just bad honestly they price hiked it but the series S however remains 299.99 in all markets so that is good hopefully that don't change it, if it does then well for the budget gamers it's a problem or budget console gamers yeah so yeah that's the thing that's bad